Well hello my fellow geeks, how you all doing? My name is Will for the nextgeek.com and today we focus on Candy Bar. Now Candy Bar is for Macs only and this allows you to change your Macs icons for your Macintosh. Now this is very simple and very easy to do. I won't demonstrate it as much because I will need to log out and log back in and of course that will stop my screen flow recording. So you can see here this is the actual interface that you'll be greeted with when you open the application. You can see here you have all the actual badges or location icons and so on and so forth uh, for your Mac. And you can see here they are all on default. Now of course you can go to different websites to go and actually um, download or drag and drop what you want to do and basically what you do once you download the icon you basically drag it from your desktop on top of this sort of let's say server and it replace it like so and then after that I popped out or drop down sorry should I say or drop down here and you'll actually have to log out and log back in to make the actual effect work now this is what you don't you know have what well, you can have general icons or you could go for your whole Macintosh icons so you do have a whole plethora of op well, options so you can see here I've at actually have applications and uh, so you can see I can change the applications as well and for docs you can see here I can change the light the sort of like spacing strip and also the background and also bottom edge and so on and so forth now for the hard drives of course you only have the one volume but you can actually add multiple ones uh, depending on how much you've actually added to your Mac of course so again this is free it was originally uh, you know, a paid application, but people don't seem to be doing this anymore. Um, it's reasonably good, and of course, you can get the actual free serial number from their actual software or their basically free company, which now offer their sort of serial so you can download it and also have the free version. So, I'll put a link down in the description so you can see here uh, there is the serial number for those who are looking for that. Uh, I think it's a really good application. I think it's quite sad that they had to go and start this for free. Um, you know, it wasn't really a great idea in my opinion but then again it's a fantastic application for modifying your max icons again it's you know something that you may be interested in and some may not be interested in as it does you know take away the max or sort of feel if it, well if it's minimalistic sort of design and style overall i've been using this application you know since 2009 uh, i paid for it obviously um but now you don't have to obviously so um you know i totally recommend it if you are interested in doing that again you know searching for icons isn't really that too hard you just have to type in mac icon sort of stuff and you find out different uh, sites that give you you know decent amount of um you know badges or icons make sure they're in the format I can't remember the correct format I think it's icons or PNG I can't really remember exactly which one it is but make sure you get the correct one to make it work again this is the candy bar hope you've enjoyed if you did then make sure to check the availability links down below and also subscribe for future videos and anyway, guys my name is Will for the next geek I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in my next video